we have to focus on you know, a big corporate story that broke yesterday. So, Dipan, we'll come back to you. But getting to that, late in trade yesterday, Dalmia Bharat, they have acquired the cement clinker and power plants of JP Associates for roughly around 5,650 crore rupees. Dalmia Bharat stock, well, it reacted positively in trade yesterday because now their capacity will be going up by close to around 10 million tons. We have Rakesh Arora, founder of... Uh, uh, GoIndiaStocks.com, as well as Rajesh Ravi, Institutional Research Analyst at HDFC Securities, who joins in. Hi, Rajesh and Rakesh. Good morning, and thanks so much for joining in. Well, uh, Rajesh, let's come across to you first. The deal looks attractive. Everyone's saying it's a good deal. Could you tell us how much of CAPEX are you factoring in that they have to spend to get this plant up and running? Hi, good morning. So, uh, if we uh, see the operating numbers of the JP assets, still FY19, at least the five and a half odd million ton, which is in the standalone books, we're operating at 85% utilization. Okay, and last two, uh, last two to three years, the utilization has come off to 45%. Uh, we don't have data for the remaining four million ton, uh, which is under the associates and the uh, subsidiaries. Mm. So that is one. Uh, the core, uh, the assets have been operational, and we don't see major challenges other than working capital and, uh, you know, re-onboarding the distribution network uh, to get the assets up and running. The incremental capex, which, and obviously some of the cost improvement exercises may come through. Uh, mm -hmm. Second is the uh, JP Super Assets, which was earlier uh, so far been part of Ultratech acquisition. Mm -hmm. But because of the lack of forest clearance, this plant has not been started off. So yes. we... Uh, we are yet to get uh, any number of what sort of capex would be needed to mm. uh, get this plant up and running. Okay. Uh, well, Rakesh Arora is also with us. Rakesh, what does this mean for the industry dynamics? Uh, now, Dalmia will expand its footprint into the central India region, will become another uh, big player there. What does this mean uh, for the industry as well as for some of the listed players? So, uh, Sonia, before that, I just want to spend a few minutes on the deal. Uh, remember that this deal has been rejected by Ultratech, Shri, and even uh, Adani's. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, slip between the cup and the lip. Mm -hmm. So let's see how this deal goes through, uh, first of all. Uh, number two is that, uh, you know, while the deal uh, is very attractive from a medium-term perspective, because it gives Darby an access to central India, where limestone availability is not that great, and it is one of the fastest growing regions. So from that aspect, you know, if the deal does go through, it is positive. Uh, number three is that from an industry dynamic, uh, you know, obviously uh, India is growing at around seven, eight percent. So, you know, each and every major cement company is trying to capture a piece of that. And uh, there's enough space for, uh, you know, everyone. Okay. So if Dalmia is talking about 100 odd million ton in the next 10, 11 years, uh, it's no big deal because they would be reaching 45, 46 million ton, uh, you know, capacity, including this acquisition. And every year they need to add four to five million just to keep their market share. Mm. So, you know, these numbers look big, but, you know, India is becoming big in terms of uh, cement consumption. So right. I won't really uh, get worried about anything. Right. Rakesh, uh, sorry, uh, just to, uh, you said uh, slip between the cup and the lip. Is there a uh, slip to be expected and... Uh, you said if this deal goes through. Yeah, so Prashant, uh, you know, the deal is lucratively valued. So clearly, you know, there should have been competition. And if others have rejected it, there has to be some reasons. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, we have to try and dig out what could be the reasons. Uh, one that I can think of is probably creditors have to give a clean check. So, because that was one of the reasons why one of the contenders uh, left the deal. Uh, number two is, you know, what is the quality and availability of limestone at Riva plant, which is the main plant, which is currently around 3.3 million ton uh, capacity of clinker. Mm. Uh, it's a very old plant. So how much clinker is still left, uh, how much limestone is still left there is yet to be seen. Mm. And if I look at the history of uh, acquisitions which Dalmi has done, whether it was Murli Industries or it was Kalyanpur Cement, they had been buying some iffy assets. Mm. So, they are not like best assets and uh, there are issues with those assets. Uh, you know, some in most of the cases, limestone is, uh, you know, missing. Mm. So, I would take it with a pinch of salt. It looks like a good deal, uh, but, you know, there are ifs and buts. Okay, all right. Uh, Rajesh, what do you think? Can the deal fall through? You know, even I've, uh, you know, tried to touch base with the management. We're hoping that they join on the channel. There are 
You know, various aspects. One is they have that JV with sale. So that 26% is still with them for one of their assets. The limestone uh, availability could be a question mark. And the clinker unit earlier was bought by Altatech, but that environment clearance didn't come about. Is there a possibility the deal falls through? So as you rightly said, and uh, Rakesh also pointed out, the, there are a few critical challenges which this deal need to uh, sail through. And obviously, uh, sale is one of them. And then the JP Super, the forest clearance, you know, under Ultratech, six, seven years, uh, it would uh, they have not been able to manage to get it. So obviously, uh, that is a big pain area. And then the other creditors and the other stakeholders. So because this is a binding agreement and uh, what the management is clear that only when they get through all the pieces, uh, this deal would go through. And uh, as I said, the, on a plain basis, on a plain vanilla basis, the deal is appearing at $66, $67. Even if we factor in some good amount of capex, this would still be at sub $100. So from that perspective for Dalmias, it makes much more sense because having their own greenfield project in the central market, would have taken at least five to seven years before they could have a meaningful footprint. Whereas this could give them at least a five million ton sales footprint within two years of acquisitions. So from that perspective, at sub hundred dollar, this is a good uh, opportunity for Dalmia. Okay, this is a good opportunity for Dalmia. Rajesh, just wanted to ask you: when new players come on board, when there is a little more competition, the prices also start to fall. Uh, are you looking at that? And if yes, what do you think the impact of this would be? on the other players? Right, so indeed that is a question whenever a new uh, entrant is there in the market. But uh, JP is already an old brand in the central market and the it was it is already a selling brand. You know, it is operating at 45% utilization. So, and from 45 going back to 80 will at least take two to three years because the whole distribution network is, just, uh, you know, they, most of the distributors are away. So they'll have to again brought on board. So the, uh, ramp up would be gradual and I don't see that will have a meaningful impact for the other incumbents in the market. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, Rakesh, I wanted to ask you your view. You said why did the other larger names bid, which is a question mark. There could be, uh, you know, various reasons. But what if the Adani group, that's ACC in Ambuja, they decide to start expanding organically? Will you see that as a negative? I mean, all this talk of consolidation suddenly goes out of the window. Will that be a bit of a derating event for the industry? Uh, no, so Nigel, you have to say that you know all these companies would try to gain market share, mm. and they will be announcing big capex. But mm. that doesn't mean that they will be producing and selling that much. Mm. So uh, this selling discipline is going to be very different from you know capacity uh, creation. Okay. Uh, take for example, even Dalmia, it's operating at sixty-one percent capacity utilization. You know, so. These big numbers really don't mean so when they are saying 9.4 million ton cement capacity, if they can sell even 4 million in next two years, uh, that will be a great achievement. So that's less than, you know, 45-50% uh, capacity utilization. Okay, gentlemen, thanks a lot for joining in. Let's see the follow-up there. Dalmia Bharat, in any case, the stock is up about 15% in the last one month. Uh, so let's see uh, what day one looks like post that uh, acquisition. But let's take a quick break. On the other side of the break, we will be joined by Mitesh Thakkar and Sudarshan Sukhani for some technical stock analysis. Do stay tuned in.